What's going on guys? Welcome to moving day. We are moving to Boise, Idaho. We are moving out of our apartment from Bellevue, Washington. I have Bronte and my best friend Jose helping us out. Well, obviously Bronte is helping out. She lives with me. But we're gonna get this day started. We're all packed up. It's super echoey in here. I'm gonna miss this sick view. It's pretty legit. You can't see it now, but Mount Rainier just like exploded right over there. Not not literally, it didn't actually like blow up, but it was a sick view of Mount Rainier. I always wanted to show you guys, but I always thought it was kind of obvious if you guys could see the Office Depot and a PetSmart right there, and you could probably figure out where I live. But nonetheless, it was a legit view. I'm gonna miss it. So we were planning on leaving about around 1 p.m. and it's now 3.30, so we're gonna get to Boise around one or two in the morning, so this is gonna be fun. Let's go do it. All right, you guys, we are about halfway through the drive. I realized I didn't really vlog any of it. I really don't think there was that much entertaining content in the first place to really vlog, but we are in Prosser, Washington right now. Um, we're gassing up the truck. We might grab some food. None of us are really hungry, but there's no real good spots between here and Boise to go grab food, so we might just kind of force ourselves to eat. Yeah, not nothing too exciting on this road trip, to be honest, so far. But I will keep you guys posted if anything cool comes up, and if not, then I guess I'm going to see you guys in Boise. So, we just made it to Boise, Idaho. We are currently at my parents' house. We just dropped off the moving truck, which we're keeping here overnight. And, which means we have to pack the things we need in my car. Bronte's literally covered. <laughs> she literally can't move, completely covered. It's currently three in the morning. We have to go to our new apartment, which we haven't even seen yet. Have no idea what it looks like, but we're gonna figure it out. After hours of packing and driving, we finally made it to the new place. I'll give you guys a tour in the morning, but it is 3.15 right now and we need to go to bed. I'll check in with you guys later. What is up guys? It is the next morning after moving. We just woke up, got our Starbucks, and we are ready now to start unpacking. We're not ready. It's gonna suck. I'm not ready. We're, yeah, we're exhausted. We didn't fall asleep basically until like four in the morning. Woke up and immediately met with our landlords. We signed the rest of the paperwork, got all that done, so we we're good to go now. So now we need to head back to my parents' house to go pick up our moving truck and then unload it. And unfortunately, we are up a ways in our building and we don't have an elevator, so we have to move all our stuff up some stairs. So this is gonna be fun. Or we could invent the pulley system. I mean, the Egyptians built the pyramids in like, I don't know how long it took, it but. Aliens. <laughs> aliens <laughs> <laughs> so this vlog is a little all over the place I haven't filmed in the last two days I ended up filming that last clip right before we moved all the stuff up and I haven't filmed since because it has just been absolute chaos here bringing all the stuff up took the entire day and I couldn't really film while doing all that it was absolutely awful bringing everything up multiple flights of stairs without an elevator or a hand truck or anything and on top of that I like injured my ankle it was, it was a mess, but we finally got everything moved up. Our friend Jose ended up leaving yesterday, early yesterday. So thank you, Jose, for helping us move. Much appreciated. Before I give you guys kind of a rough house tour, I kind of want to at least put it more together. Right now it's like kind of getting there, but I think towards the end of this day, maybe tomorrow, it'll actually kind of look somewhat normal at least. So I'll give you guys a rough apartment tour then. And then probably in my next vlog, I'll give you guys like an actual apartment tour once everything's a little more put together. But before we continue on unboxing all of this mess, Bronte and I do need to go to the grocery store and do like a massive grocery store haul because we don't have anything here from the move. And obviously with all the craziness going on, it's gonna be a little chaotic in there most likely. So I'm gonna want my hands. So I'm not gonna bring you guys along for that, but I will say the grocery store that's nearest to us is like legit. We're pretty stoked about it. I don't know if anyone else gets stoked about like things like that, but Bronte and I do. It's legit. So we are gonna go to the store now and I will check in with you guys once this apartment is a little more put together and I'll show you guys around briefly. We're about 90-ish percent the way there. 
So I think it's good enough to show you guys the apartment now, just a rough tour. And you can see we still have a couple of boxes left, but other than that, it is mostly done. So as you can see, that is my front little entryway when you come in and then you enter into the main living room, which is awesome. It has super tall ceilings, so I'm really happy with it. I'm not sure if you can really tell on camera, but it's, it's tall. Anyway, so off to the side of the living room, we have a dining room and we have a sick patio out there as well. Super happy about it. I had one of these when I lived in downtown Seattle. It was awesome. In our last apartment, we did not have an outdoor area, so definitely missed that. I'm super glad that we have one now. Behind me, we have the kitchen. Nothing too crazy. I'm definitely not a fan of the orange paint on the wall, but it is what it is. We can live with it. But overall, good kitchen. Got a little pantry area, laundry stuff back there, which we'll have to figure some sort of like cover or door or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We will be asking the landlord if we can paint the orange. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so off of the main area, when you come into the living room, we have Bronte's office set up in the back kind of corner with our pink light. Actually, I mean, it could be any color, but she likes pink. We noticed that in our old place, in our kind of shared office where she was kind of off in her own little corner, we noticed that she doesn't really like to hang out in a closed kind of a confined room which luckily we don't have that in this place but we noticed she really wants to be next to windows so we thought it would be a good idea for her to be out in the living room and just have lots of light so that's that and now we have kind of like our actual main sitting area with the couch obviously and our tv and over here is the first bedroom which I will not be showing you guys today because this is actually my stream room, but I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek in there. But yeah, I'm gonna save that for a whole nother video where I'll actually go through all of my stuff in my stream setup, so stay tuned for that. So then next to the stream room is a bathroom, which has some built-in shelving right before the entrance to it, which I'm sure we'll end up covering this up as well with some sort of like curtain or something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But this is the main bathroom. It's just a regular old bathroom, nothing too crazy, other than the fact that I think that's like goes up to 15 feet. It's absolutely insane. It's super echoey in here, but it's a bathroom. It is what it is. So that is the main bathroom. And then off onto the other side is our bedroom. It's a pretty standard, smallish bedroom. We do need to get a new dresser. So we'll put the TV up on that. Again, really tall ceiling, so I definitely appreciate that. And then off of this bedroom, there is a bathroom in here. Another just kind of standard bathroom. Not as big of a shower, but again, really tall ceilings and echoey in here. I'm really, really happy with this place. Like I said in one of my previous videos, living over here in Boise is significantly cheaper. And honestly, I think this is my favorite apartment we have ever lived in. And it is significantly cheaper than any of our other apartments before. So. Kind of feels like a big win-win over here. So now that the apartment is mostly set up, I am starting to have some second thoughts about some things. I mentioned in a few videos back that I wanted to finish out the series of me wanting to go full-time with streaming and content creation. But now that I am moved into my new apartment, I feel like I am ready now to just put my head down and start this next chapter in my life. So I have decided to end my first series early here with this YouTube video, which means I am ready to start series two on my YouTube channel and it will begin Wednesday, April 15th. Episode one of series two will be going live on my YouTube channel that day and then later in the evening, I will be doing my first live stream over here in the new setup over on Twitch. So if you're not following me yet over on Twitch, be sure to go do so and I will also post about the exact start time of my live stream over on Twitter and Instagram. So if you're not following me on my socials, I will have the link for all of them down below in the description. But like I said, I feel like this is the right time to start a new chapter in my life. And my first video in the series will kind of explain what this next series means to me and what it means for this channel. So thank you to everyone who watched this first series of mine over here on YouTube. It really means a lot to me and I'm extremely excited to bring you guys through this next chapter in my life. With that, we are ending series one right here, right now, and I will see you guys in series two. Peace.